thought. Um, as Rick said, my name is Matt Travis. Um, I work for Mac Energy as a maintenance and reliability engineer uh, in Musselbrook. We, uh, yeah, obviously pretty big mine next to Bangala actually. So um, I've been there for two years, uh, just over two years now. Uh, I'm here to chat to you uh, about how I got where I am now, um, mainly from a trade background, so not, not out, of, uh, out of school into straight into uni. Um, and hopefully can help uh, some people do similar, um, similar to what I have. So a little bit uh, about me. Uh, so I'm from Cardiff South uh, in Lake Macquarie. Um, I've had no idea what to do uh, for work I had a part-time job at Coles at Warners Bay, uh, just to, to pay the pay the bills, for mum and dad. Uh, I didn't seek out any career paths really. Um, it was mainly offered to me as a as a trial through school, which uh, I was very thankful for. Uh, my original plan was to be in the building game, uh, like dad, but uh, I was quickly told I wouldn't be allowed back in the house if I was a bricklayer. So uh, that uh, that went out the door. So um, my education. So I attended uh, Cardiff, Cardiff South Primary, uh, went to Cardiff High School. Uh, I enjoyed high school, uh, social side, as I'm sure most kids uh, do. <laughs> um, loved wood, uh, woodwork, metalwork. Uh, most of those classes were, were hands-on, and, and I loved uh, the hands-on part of, of those, um, those classes. Uh, the only class I did struggle with was, was maths, as I'm sure I'm not the only one. Um, I had a maths tutor from the years eight, to, to years eight and nine. Uh, which helped me get through my final exams, which was which was good. Uh, I attended Glendale TAFE for my apprenticeship, uh, so I learnt the ins and outs of the trade. Uh, then most recently, I've uh, started continuing on my TAFE uh, online, which was uh, really good, doing my Cert for in Leadership and Management. Uh, and I'm currently enrolled in uh, my Diploma of Engineering uh, and doing some pretty pretty scary maths equations that I never thought I'd uh, ever do in my life. Um, but yeah, I'm, it's, I think it's, it's very, very good to, to push yourself further, uh, even after school. Uh, being in, the, in a work environment uh, allows you to apply those things you never understood. Uh, and it really helps to stick when you, when you do it day in and day out. So um, I began in manufacturing, so not just you know mine directly um, supplying a mine with uh, grinding media. Um, so towards the end of the year ten, uh, my dad was actually like asked by a close family friend if I'd be interested in doing a two-week trial uh, as a fitter a machinist uh, at a small company called Donhad in Mayfield West. Uh, as nervous as I was, so I, I said yes. The company was a, as I said, manufacturer of grinding media, which is a high-carbon steel ball. Uh, that mines use to break down the rock and the ore into a more manageable size. Um, after the two-week trial, I was offered the apprenticeship with Don Had. Um, during the four, week, uh, four years of my apprenticeship, I was able to learn the trade, um, gain the skills of machining, repairing machinery, uh, maintenance of all kinds, and how to, to think on my feet when it comes to breakdowns and you know quick situations. Um, quickly after completing the trade, uh, I was promoted to a leading hand, which allowed me to gain uh, insight into more of the supervision of, of people uh, and leading a team. Uh, this role was a pretty big stepping stone into moving into a, a uh, maintenance planning role that I took shortly after. Um, the responsibilities for that role were um, ordering parts, ensuring maintenance and uh, production teams were running at maximum output and um, planning tasks, updating work orders, implementing strategies for continuous improvement and uh, many other day-to-day -day things. Um, after maintenance planning, I stepped into maintenance foreman, a uh, role to, to, to gain more in depth of the supervision of people, uh, which allowed me to do you know, more of the day-to-day -day supervision, decision-making, uh, lead continuous improvement, uh, be a mentor for safety and, uh, and maintenance um, in the workplace. Uh, in 2018, um, my small company, which I'd been there for a long time, was procured by our number one competitor, Mollycop. Um, I was successful in obtaining a role uh, with them through uh, in Waratah, uh, again as a maintenance leading hand. Um, the role was similar but had its different obstacles, uh, including you know unfamiliar people, machinery. After working for a company for nearly 10 years, um, it's a bit of a bit of a change. So I was a little little nervous, but um, it's that's what drove me to learn and um, use my previous skills to to basically think on my feet. Um, 
But the dot points up there for manufacturing for me uh, was to, to work hard, uh, learn as much as possible, um, take on any training offered to you, um, whether it's through TAFE or through, through the company itself. Um, don't pass up being shown how to do something. You may think you know something, but there's someone that, that knows it, that probably knows it better, and you, you know you can learn from that as well. Um, make mates along the way. I know that's a big thing for me. I've got a long, lot of close mates from, from work, not just out of school. So, uh, and put in some extra time. It's, um, it's worth it. So. On to mining. Um, so at the end of 2019, I was successful in uh, moving into mining with Mac. Uh, again, being extremely nervous during my interview, I remembered that um, what I'd learned uh, was, uh, was to be confident and honest, uh, expressing the knowledge I'd gained over the years. Uh, in my current role, I gather and analyse breakdown data uh, to use for reporting, develop capital expenditures. Uh, I'm involved in the higher level maintenance now, uh, breakdown reporting for the CHPP, uh, assisting the maintenance team uh, where, when needed. I uh, also review and give my feedback on new machinery designs uh, regarding maintenance and access. So for the guys that actually run the machines afterwards, I get the say in, uh, in basically how, how it's designed straight up so the guys have a bit more of an easier time. Um, oversee maintenance, uh, the budget for maintenance uh, in the CHPP for Mac, and I keep a good relationship between, uh, between our contractors and, uh, and Mac itself. Um, so the key points in mining for me is to try new things. Um, nerves mean you're doing something worthwhile. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for help. Use your strengths and uh, learn from your mistakes. On to the future. Uh, as for future, who knows really for me. Um, I've been thinking of university um, once I finished my diploma, so that's a pretty big point for me is um, you don't need to go to, to university straight out of school if, if you don't really feel like it. Um, you can definitely look look down that path further down down um, down down the track. So um, I've always strived to be a maintenance superintendent. So I think uh, I'd probably everything I've done has basically been for that direction. Um, but I'm sure once I have that position, I'll probably try for uh, for further. Um, conclusion. So my my two main points in my whole career really. Uh, the first is never pass up a chance uh, of, of someone offering help. Uh, for you to learn uh, anything new, including st extra studies, uh, training, trying something new. Uh, the people that give you a chance are obviously uh, confident uh, and believe that you'll succeed, so it's, uh, it's worthwhile to, um, to never pass it up. Uh, and lastly, use the nerves. Uh, everything I've ever done, including this speech, um, is hours of nerves beforehand. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's good once you, once you complete something. It's a, it's a really good feeling after you've gotten through those nerves. Um, I think if, if you haven't got nerves before, do some, before doing something, it's, uh, it's not really worth doing. So it's, uh, it, kind of me, it kind of means you don't care about the outcome. So use the nerves and uh, get through it and it, uh, it works out really well. So um, thank you.